Hey friends, welcome back to Hot News. It's a Wednesday, which means that we're on Floatplane. Yeah, it happened yesterday. Woo, Floatplane Lodge. Thank you to everybody who has signed up so far. One of the key things that I forgot to mention in yesterday's video was the fact that Floatplane's just higher quality than YouTube. If you want better quality videos, go to Floatplane, sign up. Link's in the video description. And if you want to find out about the whole reason to join Floatplane, you can check out our previous video right up there to get the low down shindig on that. Anyways, let's Let's talk about today's video sponsor, which is Floatplane. Just go join on Floatplane, okay? You get no ads, except for this Floatplane ad, which we're gonna include anyways, because you're on Floatplane if you're watching it. If you're on Floatplane, if you're not watching it, Floatplane. Float plane. Float plane. Moving on, so let's go ahead and talk about this big news article story thing that broke out. It's an exclusive report. Headline is, Lisa Sue considers a role beyond AMD Paris successor. Yes, my friends, the report that came out was Lisa Su is looking to join IBM to be the number two over there and eventually take over as the full-fledged big kahuna CEO of IBM because of her success at AMD. She's revolutionized the company, made sure it went from a piece of crap to something that everybody's talking about and looking to upgrade to, and is really taking over the server market. Lisa Su is a big deal, except for the fact that, uh, you know, Lisa Sue on Twitter responding to WCCF Twix tweet about the article. And she says, just for the record, zero truth to this rumor. I love AMD and the best is yet to come. So squashed, over, it's done, right? Wrong. Cause you see my friends, that's what the mainstream media wants you to believe, okay? And we here at UFD Tech, we're conspiracy theory explorers, okay? We don't believe all conspiracy theories, but we look at them all. And my friends, it was, it's kind of obvious that Lisa Su has to deny this article, whether it's true or not, okay? And yes, I know WCCF Tech is quite known for rumorizing content. Okay, so let's just, let's get that. We can, we can choose to not trust WCCF Tech. That's totally fine. But if this article is true and she's planning on leaving AMD towards the end of the year or sometime in 2020, she cannot allow this rumor to exist because it would tank the confidence of the company and ruin the shares. It would ruin the market price of the shares, it would piss off shareholders, and it could potentially put the company in a really bad place if anybody knew she was leaving this far out. Because the person that they're expecting to take over is Rick Bergman, who was the former CEO of Synaptics. He used to work for AMD for quite some time. He worked at ATI before it was acquired by AMD. He worked at AMD AMD when ATI was acquired by them, and then he left the company, was CEO of Synaptics, apparently turned that company around, and as of yesterday, rejoined AMD, which just gets the conspiracy theory rolling of did WCCF Tech, one, make up this article because of the Rick Bergman join, or two, were they waiting on that confirmation of him coming back to the company because they knew that he was gonna be the successor and they were like, that's impossible, he's at Synaptics. Oh my gosh, he's at AMD. Let's push the article out. Could be any one of those. Anyways, Lisa Sue, clearly happy at AMD that she's got a lot going for her. I wouldn't blame her if she decided to stay. However, she can't not refute this thing. So I don't necessarily trust her on it, even though she's definitely built my confidence in her. But even if she was planning on leaving, she, like her answer has to be no, I love AMD. Doesn't mean that the rumor is true, just means that Lisa Sue, she's a really great CEO. And anybody would be lucky to have her running their company. IBM, AMD, heck, even Intel. She'd be amazing. That's where I'm gonna leave that one. Speaking of AMD stuff, we've got more pictures of the 5700 XTs. You got this Sapphire Pulse, as well as what XFX is apparently calling the Thick 2. That's the thick boy right there. You know what else is thick? Intel's announcement yesterday. We're anticipating that AMD is going to be announcing either new Threadripper stuff or new Epic stuff today on August 7th. And of course, Intel wouldn't let them have the earliest mindshare, so they announced new Xeon stuff to come in and punch the brains of anybody who wants to talk about CPUs. Make sure that Intel's in their brain. And yes, 56 cores is what they're supposed to be bringing to a single CPU on the Cooper Lake Intel setup. And it's also going to be a backwards compatible socket with Ice Lake. So they're gonna give us at least two generations. Thanks, Intel. 
but they're saying that you can get up to 112 cores on a single platform with a dual socket. Obviously this pales in comparison to even the current Epic setup, which is 64 cores and then 128 cores on a dual socket motherboard. And then there was also a picture that I found floating around on the internet yesterday. I don't have a source for it, so it's not on the screen. Where's your proof? Where's the evidence? But it was on Twitter and it kind of indicated that Epic was gonna have 128 cores and all of them were gonna have 128 PCI Express lanes. So even if you pick up an eight core Epic chip, you'll get 128 PCI Express lanes. It's insane. That's a rumor, obviously, and without the source to show you on screen, I'm just talking out my butt. Maybe like WCCF tech. But I saw it on the internet, and we all know that everything on the internet's true. Abraham Lincoln said that. Speaking of new CPUs, let's talk about Samsung because they unveiled the Exynos 9825 yesterday, which is anticipated to go into the Galaxy Note 10, which is definitely going to be announced today because Samsung sent out everything for the Galaxy Unpacked event. So we're recording this before all of these events are taking place. So we don't have any info on the Galaxy Note 10, but we do have information on the 9825, which is going to retain the tri-cluster CPU architecture. It's gonna have two high-powered cores four low powered cores and it's basically going to be pretty good. It's going to be on the seven nanometer EUV lithography as opposed to the 9820, which was on eight nanometer lithography. And it appears that they're also going to be putting more neural processing units into it, which neural processing units, in case you're not familiar, is basically the phone equivalent of a tensor core, which I mean, it's kind of cool. Apple has them in the A12. I believe Huawei also has those in their Kirin chips and now Samsung putting them in their Exynos. Speaking of putting things in your Exynos, Fantex has put it holes in their case, sis. Anyways, the P400A Eclipse officially announced mesh front panel. There you go. We covered this in our Computex coverage. So if you want to check out a video, you can do that right up there. But P400A with mesh, there we go. And Cryorig also unveiling and rolling out their C7 graphene coated CPU cooler. This is actually quite a big surprise since there was a lot of indication that uh, Cryorig might even be closing down because their US store completely shut down. They went ghost on customer service and basically said nothing to anybody about anything and no sales were being made. However, apparently they're back. Everything's fine, except for it's not really. They're having some issues with the like US-China trade war thing that's going on. And so they had to like reconfigure a few things, but they can still make CPU coolers. And Toshiba, they can make tiny NVMe SSDs. Look at this thing, the XFM Express little NVMe drive. This thing looks really cool. I would hope that they could build this into new cameras camera slots so that we could have like 8K 60 FPS recording straight to an NVMe drive, runs really fast. And then in case you wanna take a journey, you can pick up Journey on iOS right now. The PS3 classic that everybody really loves has unexpectedly dropped on iOS and cost $8 for a game that people consider to be basically one of the best games ever. And then in news that makes me go, ha ha, Disney Plus is actually rolling out something that makes me actually want to buy it, which is a streaming bundle where they're going to include the Disney Plus service with ESPN and Hulu. So you're getting a whole bunch for the same price as Netflix 1080p streaming service, which is $13 a month. So for the same exact price, you get all of the new Disney shows, including the like Marvel Cinematic Universe crap that they're doing. You get ESPN, which is great for me in South Africa because I can't watch my American sports here because everybody loves cricket. I don't like cricket. And that's why I don't like cricket. And then you get Hulu, which is ad supported, but it could mean that I could actually watch all of the shows that I can't watch here right now. I, I'm, I'm highly considering this, my friends. $13 a month, this is a great offer, as opposed to $18 a month if you bought them all separately. I love it. I really, I, I wasn't planning on getting Disney Plus, and now I'm a slave to the giant rat. Does this entice you anymore to pick up the new streaming service? Let me know down below in the comments. All right, well, that's the end of hot news today, my friends. As we mentioned, we are now on float plane. This video has been on float plane for a few hours before you're getting to see it live here on YouTube. So you can consider checking us out over there at the link in the video description. $5 a month and you get pre-release content with no ads. We're not, it's not a streaming service, so don't compare us to Disney Plus, okay? This is, you're supporting a creator, which is the six people we have here on staff. You're supporting my family's medical bills. Found out my son doesn't have cancer, so that's great. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, that was just a couple thousand dollars, you know, we had to pay to get the biopsy and all that kind of stuff. But you guys make it happen. And if you support us on Float Plan, you mean, it means that I don't have to go into crippling medical debt. Anyways, I'm out of here. That's a great way to end this one. It's a Wednesday, my dudes. Hit the like button, get subscribed. I, I, <laughs>